and he, he enjoyed it and loved it, but he didn't throw him. Uh, there was no culture shock. Kau What is very politically objectionable about the gods must be crazy is that you presented with a, uh, a representation of the native level of attainment and sophistication or lack thereof in South Africa. Certainly you can't even begin to think of them governing a complex industrial society like South Africa's when they still uh, think there is something magical about an empty bottle of Coca-Cola. Okay. Uh, that's why I keep on saying politics and entertainment don't really mix for me, especially if you make comedy, because you, then you either have to take sides or, be, or apologize for the one side and attack the other side. From a creative point of view, everything is fair game. As a creative person, Jamie Ace has as much right to make fun of the, of the, of, of the liberation movement. Your terrorists or your black children, or what would you like to call them, or freedom fighters, were still very amateurish and inefficient, which was true at that time. The gorillas look like bangling incompetence, you know. I bet you the Ministry of Law and Order didn't look at the, the, the gorillas of the ANC or, or of, uh, of, of Swapo in Namibia as bangling incompetence, you know. Um, uh, uh, you talk to them, they, they regarded those people in very serious terms, you know. Uh, they had a major draft to fight those, those, those incompetence. Huh? So it's, it's, it's really not just uh, fun, you know, funny, ha, ha, ha. It's funny, peculiar. And the peculiarities, I think, have to do with the political conditioning uh, of an audience in this uh, ostensibly uh, neutral medium of satire and humor. Okay. By the mid-1980s, television screens around the world were simply filled with images of unprecedented violence in South Africa and the police reaction to it. 